Hi, this is Kenshin1913. You may know me from other Let's Plays as Sukaden 2, Drakengard 4, and Folklore. Anyways, uh, do not just your commu computer monitors, your Android tablets, your iPhone 4s. We are doing a quick thing, as you might have known or not known at this point. I have not collected one of the 108 stars of Destiny. I might have said it was a computer glitch or an emulator error or something, but no, it is actual human error. This vi this portion of the video might be shown in multiple parts, only because I want to emphasize that you want to collect one final star of Destiny, and that is this useless woman, O'Neill. She you can get right after you get your um your army, but apparently I forgot to get her. Anyways, she is a useless person. She is not used in your fighting crew whatsoever. She the only good thing about her is that she tells you uh clues. She gives you certain clues into uh, you know what you gotta do next or whatever. Or where you can pick up an item or something. Let's go show her off real quick. So yeah. I messed up, but I have fixed the error. And now everything after this or before this should be fixed. So let's go meet her. I believe she will be in the end. And yeah, so this part might be shown in multiple parts only because it is so important that one sees this. So yeah, it's going to be shown when I show an error or shown or when I say there's like an error or even before that. Let's see if I can find her. She is useless, I'm not lying to you. Where the hell is she? Here's all the bandits and stuff. No. This is gonna be awful. I wish I had the stallion. Anyways, I'll just show her off when I find her. Alright, here's the useless lady! Yeah, so she's just talking about planning on attacking the north, blah blah blah. Anyways, yeah, so she... Actually, she doesn't really do anything. She really doesn't do anything. She's just a useless person, but we need her to collect the 108 stars of destiny. So, yeah, uh, either I'm going to return you to your regularly scheduled programming, which is the continuation of this LP, or I'm, you know, or the episode, or I am going to say bye bye So this has been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you in moments or in the next episode. Bye bye Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913. We are Let's Playing Sukoden. And in the last episode, we uh, got all of the uh, the, the uh, characters. Um, I just want to emphasize that to get this woman right here, O'Neill, that I missed apparently. Anyways, it's very important. That's why I put it in like four videos. It's super important to get all 108 stars. All right, let's just leave it at that. Anyways, I'll show off the characters in uh, Uno Momento. Let's see something. Anyways, we're gonna go head over to the fortress. Floating fortress is the Halzazard. Anyways, uh, yeah, what, let's show off who I'm taking and why. I'm using a magic group here. Um, I've got everyone with their level uh, 16 weapons here. As you can see, 16 all around. Okay, so, and then I have them with Soul Eater, Rage, Thunder, Flowing, Cyclone, Resurrection. Uh, formation, there you go. Here's their equipment. Everyone's got some good stuff. I gave uh, these guys emblems because they, even though they're only 8 defense, they give you plus 10 in magic. So that's very good. And more magic means that you get to cast more spells. So let's go to Sahazazard. Sahazazarazade. Anyways, here we are. Unload the oil barrels! Commander Tur, we will burn down this fortress with oil. Yeah, we must choose the floodgate at the far end of the, or close it, and uh, yeah, we'll pour oil on it. And uh, it's at the far end of the fortress. 
All right, so Victor is automatically going to join us, which means that we have to... Okay, so it looks like those guys are gone, so we can't take them. Lukein is going to help with the injured, so we got to pick a couple other people. Which means uh, the group that I picked is pretty much useless. Well, actually, no, they're not. They're actually going to be very useful. We're going to take Mina, Crowley. I think uh, I want to take Grand Seal because he's got the Thunder Rune. Where is that other guy? What the frig is his name? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Fukin with the Resurrection Rune. And there we go. So now we gotta take Victor with us, and I'm not even gonna bother giving him any gear. He's just gonna have what he has, and I'm just gonna keep these guys like this, except I'm gonna put you here. And there we go! So, if we talk to Sanchez here... I guess this is the last bastion of the enemy. And we're not gonna change anything. Although, I guess I could go... But we can't raise the dead, really. I thought you could. Anyways, we can board the boat and leave. You can save the game or whatever you want to do, but we're not going to. Let's head in here. This is a very straightforward uh, castle. Really nothing of secret anywhere, so we're just going to go through it really quick. Although, some of the enemies are a little tough. We have some Imperials. We're going to send them to hell. Yeah, as you can see, uh, with... My group is set up to really destroy the hell out of a couple of bosses we're going to be fighting in this area. They're not set up for random battles, hence the reason why I'm going to use the hell ability. And yeah, as you can see, Victor, not doing too hot on the levels because he's been going a while. We got ourselves a chaos shield. If someone could equip said chaos shield, I would give it to them, but uh, they don't, so whatever. Now, let's continue. Yeah, so I apologize for showing that part four times, but it is super important that if you're following my LP, that you get everybody, so that we can get the best ending in the game. There's two endings. There's a good ending, and then there's the best ending, and the best ending you need to get in order to transfer your data over to Sukaden 2, and we want to do that. Because I plan on... Uh, because in each game you can uh, transfer data over from one game to the next. Oh, we got some new enemies here, Sirens. Let's send them to hell as well. Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to use any magic at this point. I just want to do what I do because I do what I do. Yeah, so I wanted to take Alan and Grand Seal. Oh shit, yeah, we get another flowing rune. That's awesome. We could use more, because I like sending, uh... Because they're, they're good for, for healers. Whoever I want to make a healer. So we get a Master Guard. Who the hell is it? Let's give it to Tur, because Tur's a master. First thing we want to do... Give it this Antitoxin crap. I'll give it to you. I want you to have the sound setting as well. I want you to get rid of that chaos shield. Give it to whoever, it doesn't matter. And you give him the master garb. Let's equip it. Boom! I believe the master garb heals your HP too. Oh, skill bonus, which means that his skill goes up 10. Which means that, um, skill. I think it's more for, like, counterattacks and, um, and what the hell is it? Criticals. Because I think luck is mainly just for getting items, like, after the thing's over. So I'm almost done here. It's a few screens, not, not too many. If we come over here, I want to say there's a treasure. Right, let's use the room. Apparently we still can't run from these guys. Go to hell! So yeah, it is super important to get 108, 108 stars. 
Like, seriously, I can't emphasize it enough. You know, why you should get them. And we get another Mega Medicine. Awesome. Although we won't need him because we have uh, Nina or Mina there as a healer. There you are! A giant clam! That's what we're going to be fighting. So, yeah. Uh, this thing's weak to lightning, so use the thunder stuff. Let's show you off the shining wind, which is an amazing ability. I'm just going to have you defend. And I'm going to have you use charm arrow, which... Now, resurrection rune... I probably should have mentioned this before, but that guy... Wanted to take him to the next castle. He, that would be the best place to use him because with the resurrection, it's actually strong against um, undead enemies. And look at that. So that thing takes away energy from the enemy and gives it to us. Kind of like the silk spell in uh, Final Fantasy IV. Anyways, continue with the lightning. I'm going to use the Shining Wind again. I'm going to defend with her. And he has an ability called Scream. Yeah, he's the only character who gets a Resurrection Rune. And Resurrection Rune is the only rune that can actually... If someone dies in battle, you can actually bring someone back. This is going to heal us. Yeah, so it's part healing, part attack. But it does really good damage against un undead guys. It's great. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm not using, uh... Let's use Storm. You're probably wondering why I'm not using, uh... Let's use a Yell. No, Yell, Yell just bring back one character to life. Let's do Scolding. Anyways, you're probably wondering why I'm not using, uh... You know, Curse abilities, uh, Soul Reaver abilities. And the reason for that is because, um... We're going to be taking out another boss in this area. But yeah, you see that spell that Crowley just did there? That's actually a level a level 4 ability on the wind. So, and like right here, Ball of Lightning, that's a level 4 ability on, on the uh, Lightning Rune. So, we actually get one extra uh, spell with the Wind Rune, which is pretty cool. Let's do a screen. Let's have a heal. So yeah, Fukin would actually be very good against the Neck Lord. The Neck Lord's castle. It does really good damage against the undead, the uh, resurrection room. Like I said, he's the only character who gets it in this game, but in the next game you can actually purchase them and stuff like that and get them. Ooh, you hurt me with your stupid bobble there. So yeah, just have just keep having Grand Seal use lightning. I'm just gonna have him continue to use storm. Mina is just there in case there's any sort of really nasty attacks. There we go. Took care of that clam on a half shell. Yummers. And we get a million bits, I think that was. Or 100,000 bits. So here's the floodgate. Let's close it. Right. Yeah, escape it and burn it down. But before we do, let's collect this, the Thunder Crystal, which is what Grand Seal has. Anyways, uh, interesting thing about this place is, uh, well, really nothing. No, I'm thinking about it. Anyways, uh, let's just let him go. Poor, weak, pathetic bastards. But yeah, the reason why I was, uh, I, uh, yeah, you know what, let's fight these guys in case they give me anything good. Anyways, the reason why I, um, made sure, because I was playing the game and I was missing someone, and I went through this next part, and the, the thing that was supposed to happen didn't happen, and I got kind of pissed off, and I was like, what the hell's going on? So I had to replay, like, a big chunk of the game, and just to make sure that I wasn't missing anyone, then I had to double-check everything. It was a real pain in the ass. So I had to go back and look which person did I miss, and I missed that one lady. 
and I really, really wanted you guys and gals, whoever's playing along with me, to make sure that you were getting that person so that it could be sort of a 100% walkthrough. Sonia Shulin, what is she doing here? Well, she's the commander of this thing. You're the Imperial leader. I'm the last of the five great Imperial generals. I want to ask you, Tur, why did you pray, betray the Empire? Why did you betray your own father? Inciting rebellion, causing more taking lives. Is this what you call justice? What you're saying is not true. The Emperor, he's... What? Holy shit, it's on fire. Water is on fire. Yeah, it is too early. What's going on? You raised your sword against Tio. You will pay now with your life. Good luck, Lady Sonia Shulin. Now is when I'm going to use judgment on her ass. We're going to do clone rune. We're going to use uh, raging blow. Now let me show you a cool uh, ability that we can do if we use both the earth rune and or the uh, wind and water. It's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, let's just do that. I think she's actually weak to fire. So if you have two people with two with uh, advanced ruins and you both have enough spell max spell charges, you'll actually do a pretty cool uh, spell. See, these two are doing a spell. This combines both their level four advanced spells. And it does more damage. It's pretty sweet. Anyways, let's do uh, judgment again. Uh, sure, raging blow. Wow, I still have I still have one more of these, huh? Let's use the shredding. What's Mina gonna do? Uh see all this stuff is healing, so hmm. Except Mother Ocean. Mother Ocean puts like a a thing around you that uh I don't know what, I don't remember what the hell it does. It does something. It puts like a thing around you to defend against like certain spells or something like that. Lady. You could probably just attack with him because that's. No, no, 300 damage is bad. Let's see if we can do something to her. No, probably didn't do anything. Alright, now it's time to take her down. Probably just be easier to attack her, huh? Let's use Shining Wind and Mother Ocean. And with you... Whatever, scolding, sure. Because like I said, yell brings a person back to life. Alright, she used that rune for nothing. Which is fine. Anyways, there we go, we won. As I thought, I cannot defeat you. After all, you beat Tio. Oh, she's sad. But I will not let you defile me. I am the Empire's, His Highness's, Tio's. Stop it, what are you doing? Can't let a pretty lady like you die. Besides, you seem to have your reasons. Yeah, let's take her with us. And let's get the hell out of here. But what awaits us outside? Will it be betrayal? Will it be something else? We'll have to find out in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.